Hi, my name is Lily. I'm a pianist from the vibrant city of New York. Today, I will talk about how I became a pianist. As a kid, I was always surrounded by great music because my parents loved music. My apartment had a grand piano, so I naturally started to play it and I loved it. So when I was six years old, I already knew I wanted to be a professional pianist. But everyone around me said it was a tall order. They didn't believe I could be one. But my heart was set on it. I practiced piano every day for many hours. Also, I wanted to go to music school and I needed money for that. So I worked at a cafe to keep my head above water. I finally passed the entrance exam and I got into music school. At music school, I met many good teachers and I learned a lot from them. My piano skills improved a lot. I also met many new friends who also loved music. We shared many experiences and became thick as thieves. Then, one day, I entered a piano competition. I was very nervous, and my friends told me break a leg. I did my best in the competition and to my surprise, I won. I couldn't believe it. After the competition, the music producer reached out to me. He offered me a contract, and that meant I officially started my career as a professional pianist. Now, I travel all over the world as a professional pianist. So, if you have a dream, don't give up. You can do it too. How was it? Did you understand everything? Now I'll explain some phrases and expressions she used in her story. All right, let's start with the word vibrant. This word means something is full of energy and life. When we say that Lily is from the vibrant city of New York, we mean that the city is lively and bustling with activity. It's like when you go to a party that's so lively, everyone is laughing and dancing. That's a vibrant atmosphere. Let's move on to a tall order. This means that something is a big challenge, like climbing a really tall mountain. When people doubted Lily's dream, they thought it was a tall order because becoming a professional pianist isn't easy. If your teacher gives you a lot of homework and asks you to finish it in one night, that would be a tall order too. Let's talk about someone's heart is set on something. This means they are determined to do or have something and work hard for it. We think the heart feels emotions most, so if your heart is set on something, you feel really strongly about it. In Lily's story, her heart was set on being a professional pianist. She loved playing the piano so much and was really determined to reach that goal. So, if you really want to win a race, and you train every day for it, then you can say your heart is set on winning the race. Now, let's talk about the phrase keep my head above water. This idiom is often used to mean managing to survive financially or handling a lot of work without getting overwhelmed. When Lily worked at a cafe, she was trying to earn enough money to go to music school. That means she tried to keep her head above water. Imagine you have bills to pay and your income is just enough to cover them. This means you are just keeping your head above water. Next, let's move on to thick as thieves. This phrase describes friends who are very close and share a very strong friendship. They often know each other's secrets too. The idea is that thieves have to trust each other completely to not get caught. In Lily's story, she and her music school friends were thick as thieves, sharing experiences and supporting each other through their music journey. If you and your best friends spend a lot of time together and know a lot about each other, you can say we are thick as thieves. Finally, let's talk about the phrase break a leg. It might sound strange, 
but this idiom is used to wish someone good luck, especially before a performance. Some people believe that wishing someone good luck is actually bad luck, so the phrase "break a leg" is used instead. When Lily's friends said this before her piano competition, they were wishing her success. So, if your friend is about to go on stage or start a big game, you might say "break a leg" instead of "good luck." Now that you've understood these phrases, let's listen to her story one more time without subtitles. Hi, my name is Lily. I'm a pianist from the vibrant city of New York. Today, I will talk about how I became a pianist. As a kid, I was always surrounded by great music because my parents loved music. My apartment had a grand piano, so I naturally started to play it, and I loved it. So when I was six years old, I already knew I wanted to be a professional pianist. But everyone around me said it was a tall order. They didn't believe I could be one. But my heart was set on it. I practiced piano every day for many hours. Also, I wanted to go to music school, and I needed money for that. So I worked at a cafe to keep my head above water. I finally passed the entrance exam, and I got into music school. At music school. I met many good teachers, and I learned a lot from them. My piano skills improved a lot. I also met many new friends who also loved music. We shared many experiences and became thick as thieves. Then one day, I entered a piano competition. I was very nervous, and my friends told me break a leg. I did my best in the competition, and to my surprise, I won. I couldn't believe it. After the competition, the music producer reached out to me. He offered me a contract, and that meant I officially started my career as a professional pianist. Now I travel all over the world as a professional pianist. So, if you have a dream, don't give up. You can do it too. I hope you understood everything this time. Now. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video. Hope to see you in the next lesson.